Batteries, here we go, here we go. There he is. Batteries down on the camera, so we gotta get this one to the to the ice. Looks like a good crappie, because it is a good crappie. Come here, buddy. There we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good crappie to start the video. Today's video is sponsored by Two More Cast Tackle Box. Today I'm going to tell you how to get this bobber that you're seeing right here for just $1. That's actually a pretty nice crappie for this lake that I'm on. Um, going to do a mixture of lake fishing and river fishing with this bobber setup. I'm going to show you how to tie it on. And be sure you click the top link in the video description. When you sign up for just $1 for your first month, you get this bobber right here. Actually a pack of them. You get this bobber for just $1. Slip bobber rigs for crappie year-round. Great, great crappie rig. And then after that, you get a cool assortment of multi-species lures every single month from Two More Cast Tackle Box. So sign up. Click that top link in the video description. I'm going to show you how to tie this on. So here are the three items you will need to, uh, to tie on this little slip bobber setup for ice fishing. Got our foam slip bobber, which is just a snap-in. You see it's got a little clip right here. You can just snap the line in. Some sort of yarn stop or braid stop. You can use whatever. I got a few videos just showing you how to use just regular braided line to tie uh, this setup. But these little pre-tied knots work great for ice fishing because you're not doing a ton of casting. Actually, you shouldn't be casting at all if you're ice fishing. But um, And then we have a 1 16th ounce. This is just a tungsten jig by Euro Tackle. Um, you can use an Aberdeen hook and a split shot, but for, again, for ice fishing, these fish don't really want that minnow swimming or, you know, in a very aggressive way, kind of moving around. Um, it, they want it just sitting dead still with the minnow struggling to move. Um, so that's why I'm using the 1 16th ounce tungsten jig. So there's the setup. Let's show you how to tie this thing on. The very first thing you're going to do is take your line. In this case, I have... 1 16th monofilament, um, pretty much the same I'd be using for open water setup. And I'm going to slide my uh, stop. I'm going to slide the black tube through the line, pull it out the other side like that. And then you're going to take your black tube, you're going to grab the yarn, pull it up towards the rod tip. You're going to pull the, the yarn going towards the rod tip. And the black spool is going to go towards the end of the line. You're going to be able to slide it right off the line like that. Now we pull out probably, I don't know, a foot or so of line. And then you can tie down your knot just like this. I'm going to cut this, but I'm going to leave probably an inch or so. Again, I'm not casting this. This is ice fishing rig, so I'm not really worried about it getting too caught up in an eyelet. Um, I can always reset it. But if it does start to slip... I, I want a little bit of tag end to be able to retighten this knot. So I'm going to leave, I don't know, an inch or so. Maybe, maybe a little bit less than an inch of line. Something like that. That's kind of what I want. So the stop is on there. And now we'll just tie the jig on. A few different knots you can use. Um, oh. Dropping a white jig into snow is not always the best uh, best thing to do. Clip off some excess that I have here. As far as the jig goes, I'm going to uh, just tie a loop knot. Super simple. You're just going to touch, put your tag in through the eyelet of the jig, pull it out so it's like that. And then you're going to pinch your tag ends with your main line together and you're going to flip it, flip the jig between your fingers just once, if I can get it. And it's going to create this loop kind of by my pointer finger there, or my index finger on my right hand. I'm going to put the jig back through the loop. So there it goes through the loop like that. I'm going to put the jig all the way through. You're going to grab your tag end and your main line, slowly pull together, and that loop's going to collapse on it. These have a little bit of a plastic rubber stop if you want to use plastics, but that is the knot that I'm going to use. Pretty, pretty simple knot. Here we go. 
yeah, pretty pretty simple knot. I probably should have used a little bit more of a high vis line for this, but it'll work. You're gonna take your uh, clippers, clip off the tag end. You don't need a ton of tag end, so I'm gonna clip. I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch of tag end. Clip that off, just like that, and there you go. Now the cool thing about these bobbers is they clip into the line right here. So notice in normally a slip bobber you would have to put it actually on the line like a through line slip bobber, but with this I can simply take it, uh, I'll try to get you in camera here, take it and what it does, you just pull the line down and it locks in and now it can move up and down the line freely. And if it ever gets iced up or stuck, you simply just take the line, pop it off, and you're free to just reel up whenever you want. So there is the setup of how to tie it on. Testing, testing. All right. Well, moved inside. Man, my GoPros are not, for whatever reason, man, they are not liking recording today. I'm trying to get the shot of the bobber going down for all of you, but it's just not working out. There's fish still kind of cruising back and forth. Oh, here comes one. Here comes a fish. He's going to take it. I'm going to guess most of these are either crappie or bluegill. Oh, oh. Does he have it? Here he goes. Take it, take it. There he is. Yep. Moved inside, it started to get a little, a little chilly out there, so threw the tent up. Ooh. Another, uh, eh, you know, he's probably on the smaller side, but again, we're fishing, I'm fishing 27 feet of water, so he's going to come home. That's number four. Get back down there. I'm going to try to catch... I thought the bite was going to be a lot faster than what it is, so I'm going to try to catch six and then uh, bring them home. We'll fry them up for lunch. But again, great little setup. I mean, how can you not beat a slip bobber rig year round? You got to change a few things for obviously ice fishing versus open water, but just a great rig. Just a great rig to catch crappie year round. And again, I'm hooking him right behind the dorsal fin. Show a nice little close-up for you. This is where I'm hooking it. Right, right behind that dorsal fin. Okay. Allows that minnow to really struggle, and but it's not actually swimming around in a circle like you'd see if you, if you had this set up with a Aberdeen hook and a split shot. Um, that minnow would really kind of run around and typically winter crappie don't really want to chase they're, they're not as active I mean water temps you can see the water temps 32 degrees like these fish are <laughs> they don't want to chase minnows across open water so if you can get that minnow to just kind of sit there and look like it's really struggling typically you're gonna get a lot more bites my slip stop is loosening it up on me so that should be good pinch that little oh got a fish coming up at it I'm gonna just drop it in there I think we're gonna get another crappie right away here sure as heck are Yep. Problem is, oh, did he take it? Yeah, he's got it right there. My line was snagged on the ice. Another crappie for the frying pan, though. Yep. Oh, it's a white crappie, too. That's one of the benefits of fishing the rivers. Occasionally, you run into one of these white crappie. Look at that. See the bars on it? 
and then they got that little speck there. But nice little white crappie. Not the white crappie from down south. Those those white crappie down south get pretty big, but he's still gonna come home. Fry up just as good as the other ones. Oh, here we go, here we go. He's got it. Oh no, and I missed him. How did I miss him? I better check. He might have taken the minnow. I kind of gave up on the jig rod. Oh, he did take my minnow. Gave up on the jig rod. Just went with two set lines. I got a rattle wheel outside attached to my snowmobile. And I actually already caught a pretty nice crappie on it. I'll show you guys that in a second. But Sometimes set lines just outproduce regular jig rods. Depending on the day. They want live bait just sitting there. They're going to come up on their own time and take a smack at it. Oh, yep, he took it. He took it. There he is. Yep. Doesn't feel very big. Oh. I mean, he's he's probably close to nine. Either way, I'm keeping him because I'm fishing 25, 27 feet down. I mean, he's a decent eater. Not our biggest one, though. Let me show you the one I caught on the rattle wheel. That's a good fish. Now this guy, that guy right there, he's probably, I'd say he's probably 11-ish, 11 and a half. These are the kind of fish you want to catch on the river. We'll see if we can get them on a regular slip bobber rod here. You can see kind of 20 plus foot off. There are some fish cruising the bottom. I think those are also some crappie uh, because where I got that rattle wheel set up, it's it's just about two, three feet. Well, it's probably yeah, a little more than that. It's probably about four to five feet off the bottom. And it's over the middle of the channel. There's not any structure or anything beneath it. So I'm just working on those fish that are cruising the bottoms. Oh, see, that's a, that bite. Do you see that bite? The bobber actually went up sideways. Oh, no, and I missed him. When that happens, let me show you here. It's a negative bite. The, bop, the crappie is actually so aggressive that when he comes up, grabs the minnow, it raises it up, and typically this bobber is kind of sitting like this and it'll pop up. It'll go like this, just, just horizontal like that. But still got the minnow, so we'll drop back down there, see if we can get him. It's also a really important thing why you size your bobber to your jig. Um, this is a 16th ounce tungsten jig. And this, I believe, is a four-inch little foam float. It's enough to stand straight up and down when the jig is, when the line is fully all the way down there, hitting your slip stop, like right there. My slip stop's going to it, it pops straight up. But it's not taking the, the bobber all the way down. Here comes a fish. Yep. See how that, that bobber's coming up, almost came up sideways. But now he's, he's going straight down with it. See, now he's taking it. There we go. Ooh, that might be a, that's a better fish, I think. That could be a decent crappie. Yes, it is. That is a chunker. Oh, boy. Come here, buddy. Oh. That is the river chunker we're after. Holy smokes. This is, that's over 12 for sure. I do have a tape. I don't have a bump board, though. He choked on it. There, there's our, I mean, he's, he's knocking on the door of 12 at least, but that is the river crappie we came after today, and that's what you can catch on a slip bobber setup. That actually just makes it number eight for me. I'm going to try to catch a few more off camera here, but appreciate you watching. Do me a favor, click the top link in the video description, sign up for the two more cast tackle bobs. You are going to get a pack of these foam bobbers. These foam floats right here, you're gonna get a pack of them for just $1 if it's your very first month signing up. After that, you get a cool assortment of multi-species lures, hair jigs, crankbaits, jerkbaits, uh, crappie plastics, a um, lot of cool stuff uh, after that from your monthly tackle box subscription. So sign up, click the link in the video description below. Appreciate you watching as always. I know I haven't been putting out a ton of ice fishing content, but uh, more to come this February. I do got like three or four more videos to get done and get out for you. So appreciate you watching. Got any comments or questions of how I'm catching these fish? I got a fish out here.
You can post in the comment section below, or you can message me on either Facebook or Instagram. Appreciate hearing from you. Let's go catch this fish right here. All right, I don't know how well you can see this, but it's just a rattle wheel setup. And, oh yeah, there's, is there a fish on there? Yeah, I think he's on there. Oh no, did I miss him? I think I missed him, shoot. It's a really nice little rattle wheel setup, great dead stick. On a lot of our natural lakes, we can use three lines. I'm only using two right now, but hey, he's still alive. I got this set up and then I got the slip bobber rig inside, but you can catch big crappie on just a dead stick rod or a little setup like this. So, all right, that's gonna wrap it up. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.